Hey guys, it's Ben, Acme Mowing, Acme Mowing, and Lawn Care, AcmeMowing.com. Happy Saturday to you. Hope you had a great week. Uh, welcome to today's video. Today, Acme Mowing's actually going to make a video that has something to do with getting ready for our lawn care season, the 2019 season. Uh, today, behind me, you see here that we had delivered a gorilla lift. This is what I've been waiting for to start getting the trailer ready, guys. Uh, and let me tell you why I've waited for our gorilla lift to come in before I put in our trimmer racks that we've had laying around here for several, several weeks now, uh, and our gas can racks and several other racks, our, you know, our uh, trimmer string uh, spool rack that we haven't installed yet because we've been waiting for the gorilla lift. You may ask, Ben, why didn't you just put them on and then when the gorilla lift came in, put that on? Well, uh, I've been watching a lot of videos and it seems to me like a common mistake that people make is they get their trimmer racks first before they get their gate lift and they install that and they put it on their trailer somewhere. Let's just say here, for instance, they put their trimmer rack right here. And then when they get their, uh, their gate assist, like we've got the gorilla lift, uh, the two sided gorilla lift. Uh, when they get that though, they have to install it and it only goes one spot. It's not like you can put it anywhere on this trailer. You gotta put it on this back half of the trailer. So if you have trimmer racks or any other kind of racks already pre-installed on that and you want that, that uh, lift gate assist, you're gonna be moving all that crap. And I didn't wanna go through that. So my philosophy is measure twice and cut once. Uh, so we waited for all of our racks to get in so I could kind of mock up the trailer and get a good idea where everything's gonna go so I don't install them and then have to move them again later and drill even more holes in the trailer. So, uh, finally the gorilla lift's here. So that's what we're gonna do today, guys. We're gonna install the gorilla lift on our new trailer, our new tandem axle trailer. Uh, and I'm gonna take you through that. Uh, there's plenty of videos, installation videos out there, but this is Acme's. So uh, this is for documentation uh, of our journey. Uh, in the lawn care business. And this is just something that we do. So uh, listen guys, uh, Ben is not the most handy man around. Uh, normally I get help with stuff like this because mechanically I'm about a four, maybe a 4.2 out of 10. Uh, technologically speaking on computers and stuff like that, uh, editing software and software in general, I'm probably in the seven to eight range. So. I do have my value, but really uh, mechanically inclined is not part of that value. So uh, you guys are gonna be watching the old man install these uh, gorilla lifts by himself today. So, and that's a pretty big thing for me because uh, like I said, I'm pretty, a, pretty much a, a zero when it comes to mechanical stuff. So let's figure this out together. Uh, I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to put a, a chesty on and you guys can watch me install this. Probably going to fast forward it because it's probably going to take me forever. But uh, after we get the Gorilla Lift installed, we'll test it out and I'll tell you what I think about it. First impressions, that is, not a review. And by the way, I need to tell you, this wasn't sent to me for free. I bought this with my own money and it cost about $175 delivered. Let's get, let's get to it. All right, guys, so here it is, uh, Gorilla Lift. I ordered it uh, off Amazon.com. Uh, it was a prime delivery, so I got free shipping, uh, but with tax and everything, yep, Amazon's charging tax in Oklahoma now. Uh, with tax and everything, it was $175. And this is it, it's two-sided uh, Gorilla Lift tailgate uh, lift assist is what it's called. Uh, a lot of people, I've watched a lot of videos on this thing uh, over the course of last year and uh, this off season. And uh, this is the one that we've picked out of all of them. I found a lot of stuff that said, hey man, uh, don't get the Gorilla Lift because the stuff breaks down and the rollers are cheap and they break and they're expensive to replace and, and all that stuff. But I heard that about every lift on the market out there. And uh, from what I could tell, uh, the Gorilla Lift was at the top uh, end 
of uh, available tailgate lift assists without building your own. And like I said earlier, I'm not that mechanically inclined. So we just went ahead and got this. Guys, when it comes to buying new equipment, I always ask myself one very important question. Uh, is this thing gonna pay for itself and am I gonna, am I gonna be able to make money with it? Uh, in the case of the Gorilla Lift, uh, I knew last year that yeah, I need one. Uh, and we needed one on the last trailer because the gate for me was pretty heavy. Uh, and a lot of times I was out there uh, on my own in the afternoons uh, lifting that heavy gate. And it's just, for an old guy like me with back problems and knee problems, it wasn't ideal. Uh, but I'm pretty cheap too, and I didn't wanna spend the $175 and put this thing on a trailer that I knew that I would be replacing. And uh, that's exactly what we did this season, guys. We replaced our old 14 foot long trailer single axle with this 16 footer behind me here uh dual axle so uh w will the 175 dollars spent on this gorilla lift save me money in the long run the answer to that is i believe it will uh time will tell but if it prevents any injury to my back then it's worth its weight in gold uh it'll save me money because i'll be able to continue to work uh and it'll save me money and, and a lot of aggravation because I won't be in pain laid up at home. Anyway, here, here we go, let's install this sucker. Uh, and this, please know that this is a guy that doesn't know anything about anything mechanically. So let's see how I do installing it. Okay, so here we go. What's in the box? Gorilla left. I've already opened it. Uh, I undid all the tape on it. Instructions, some retaining pins. Uh, and then the Gorilla Lift components itself. It looks like uh, four separate um, metal containment units that the springs fit inside of, uh, cable and chain, uh, and the spring obviously inside of it. So it's pretty simple uh, parts wise. Uh, let's read the directions and get this thing on the trailer. I'm being very careful to see where these placement holes are that they're not going to uh, go down into any of these support structures of the steel here. You don't want to get involved with that. Mine is clear there and it's clear here. So then I need to put this back on. And then remove this. So there's one, and there's the other where I need to drill my holes. Now I need to mark these holes. And there's that one. Okay guys, so, so far we've got the, uh, the holes drilled all the way through. That's a quarter, quarter inch back from there's the other two and there's the other hole. So that was easy enough. What's next? Okay, we've put our uh, bolts through the housing brackets, and now we just need to secure those bolts on the bottom with the provided washers and nuts. So we'll do that real quick. Okay guys, uh, we got the top rail installed, the housing uh, rails anyway. Uh, we got them secured with the bolts and the washers that were provided. 
Uh, and now we're moving on to the next step. We're gonna do the left side first, and then uh, we'll do the right side, but we won't show you the right side because it's just gonna be the same as the left side. After we're done, we'll show you the whole completed thing, but we're moving on to the next step for the left side. Okay, so what it's asking me to do is slip this spring assembly with the cable assembly through the housing. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna start at the back because I think it'll be easier to slide it this way. Give a quick push. We'll hold on to this end so it doesn't go all the way. There we go. This is what they want here. So we need to go through. Okay, we got that done. We're making progress, guys. Uh, we got the rollers on uh, and the cable between the rollers. A lot of people make the mistake uh, at this point uh, of not reading the directions. I've seen a, a couple installations on YouTube where they had to go back and redo it. Uh, but you need to install the top rollers first, otherwise you're not gonna get the bottom ones in. So top rollers first, then bottom ones. It says so in the directions, but uh, people in YouTube land are a lot like the old man. They don't read directions. Okay, before we do the, uh, the tailgate pin, we're gonna install the other side. A lot of guys say you can run with uh, just one side. And I think uh, just testing it out uh, just now, I think that that's probably the case. But we're gonna put both sides on it just to be safe. Uh, just in case one side fails while out in the field, we'll, set, we'll have the other side back up. All right, guys. So, uh, well, we've got both uh, sides installed. We've got the left and the right installed over there. Uh, now we're adjusting uh, the tension. Now what it's supposed to do is you're supposed to set it to where you lower it halfway and it stays. And that's, that's exactly what we've got right there. Now, guys, uh, my issue is you see we have these the higher sides on our trailer. Uh, and I'm not sure that Gorilla Lift took those higher sides into account because uh, in order, you see, even at that level right there, uh, the gate is still off the ground. I have to push it down onto the ground, and that's not going to work for me. We're going to have to come up with something else. Uh, so we have to take it lower. But here's my issue, guys. When we put it to the upright position, look at all that slack I'm going to have. I don't know if that's normal. Uh, it says not to have any slack. But if I don't have any slack, then it's too tight. Okay. Look how low that bolt is going to be on my trailer, guys. Look how low I'm going to have to angle that uh, in order to get the gate to drop all the way down without the grill lift holding it up. Uh, here's my problem. Um, I put it where they said, but, but this, this cable here is going to rub right here on the end. So I think we're going to have some... I think we're going to have some problems with this. I think we're going to have a couple issues. Because I have to mount it so low, uh, that creates this angle where this thing is going to rub right here. So that's going to be an issue. Okay, uh, as you guys that have been watching my channel, uh, you guys that have been watching Acme mowing for a while know that the old man's, uh, he doesn't really <laughs> read directions. And maybe I should more often because uh, one of the fixes, it's, it, it tells me to not allow any slack whatsoever in the cable. And in order to hook it up to where it's got the lifting power, to, uh, not, a, not so much lifting power where I can't lower it, but enough to where I can raise it, there's a lot of slack in the cable. And one of the uh, troubleshooting things then is to uh, put the tailgate in the upright position uh, one of the steps, guys, was there's an inner spring and an outer spring. Uh, there's a big spring and a little spring, basically. And this pin right here uh, goes through both of those springs. Now, what it's telling me to troubleshoot is to put the gate up, remove the cables, undo that pin, and remove the smaller spring from that cotter pin and just, just go through the larger spring, and that'll give less tension, and that will allow... Uh, us to put it higher. Hopefully that works. We're gonna give it a shot right now. Okay guys, so I think we finally got it figured out. What we needed to do was uh, the little spring was, it wasn't powerful enough to lift the gate uh, when I put the thing at the highest setting. And the bigger, the biggest spring 
is too powerful on its own. So, uh, just barely though. So we're going with the big spring. We're leaving the, the small spring unattached. And this is what we got. Uh, I'm drilling the hole here. I ran out of battery on my drill. Uh, but this is what I got. I got a little bit of slack here, but guys, it's gonna be unavoidable because this is what I get uh, with, with that bit of slack. So I can lower it. It does what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to lower it halfway and it's supposed to hang like that. Uh, and I can put my foot on it the rest of the way. Now you'll notice that uh, it's picked up a good two, three inches off the ground on this side, but not on this side. I'll be able to drive my mowers up on this, uh, no problems. Uh, we're gonna go with this. Uh, so we've got the one side gorilla lift uh, situation. And on the other side, guys, we kept the, uh, I just threw all the innards to this gorilla lift uh, inside of it. So when we do need it, and we probably will need it, uh, what I'll do is I'll just hook it up on this side then when this side fails. And this side will fail eventually because what we got going on here is where I had to attach it, it's gonna rub right here. So uh, not much I can do about that uh, just based on where my clamps and stuff are, but we're gonna give it a shot. I already paid for it. Uh, we put her on, so we're just gonna run with it and uh, see how long she lasts. But mark my words, that's gonna be an issue. The, uh, the rubbing of the cable on the side there is gonna be a problem. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, Gorilla Lift does the best that they can. They can't design their product for every kind of trailer and configuration of trailer there is out there. Uh, but in our particular case, I'm not sure that Gorilla Lift is the right answer for us. But we're gonna run with it uh, through the season and we'll let you know how long it lasts. That's really the only way I could set it up, guys. I can't move it back uh, because of my um, because of my latching uh, on my trailer. I can't move it back this way. Uh, and the problem is it's rubbing right here when the when the gate is fully extended. So that's a problem that I see. Uh, but I must say, guys, I gotta say this thing is way easier to lift than it used to be. Uh, let me show you. So I just put my foot underneath it. Pop it up, man. One finger. One finger, guys. One. That's it. Like I said, though, guys, that's going to be an issue. And I still got slack in my line, even though they say not to. I just could not get it uh, situated to where there's no slack. So we're going to have to run with it just like that. Anyway, now that I have the Gorilla Lift installed, uh, coming up soon on some future videos, we have our uh, trimmer racks in, uh, but I wanted to get these installed first so I knew where I could configure those. And right now, guys, what I'm thinking about doing is on the on this side of the trailer, I'm going to put my uh, gas cans, uh, my gas can racks, uh, and I, I got racks for the shear cans. And then on this side, I'm gonna put uh, the trimmer racks right here in the front, right along the side here, hopefully. Uh, I don't know how the spare is gonna work out with that, but we're gonna figure it out. Uh, we're gonna put it on this side, I think. For right now, anyway, that's what we're doing. And then I got a tool rack that I'm gonna put along the front here. So you may remember that on our 14 foot trailer, we had that, uh, we had that uh, landscaper's basket. That was really nice to throw stuff in and. Uh, it was secure. We don't have that on this trailer. Uh, we gave that up for more room, which we needed for our mowers to get everything on. Anyway, guys, uh, I think the Gorilla Lift is going to be a good addition for us for a while. I think we're going to have to keep an eye on that cable, and I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, but don't don't panic. Your trailer is probably not like mine. Uh, I think that what I bought, uh, what it cost me, it was about 175 bucks delivered. Uh, I think I'm going to be fairly happy with the Gorilla Lift. I'm not happy with the cable situation. And we're done installing it. So uh, I told Mike N that I would uh, I would shout him out in this video, but he was very, very specific about where he wanted me to shout him out at. So I better go do that. Uh, shout out Mike N. Then we'll get KH and do the Fridge Fade because, guys, uh, you responded to my call. Uh, the response was overwhelming. We got, I don't know, eight things yesterday 
for our fridge of fame. So we are we are set for a little while. I think some of them. Uh, I'm not sure everything's for the fridge of fame, but there were some stuff sent for Acme. So I know at least some of them are. All right, guys. So that was the Gorilla Lift installation. Not too bad. I am terrible at mechanical stuff, and it was easy for me. So. But we still have some tweaking to do. I'm going to try to get that thing right with the slack and the cable. But anyway, KH is out here. Hi, y'all. We have a fridge of fame. We do have to open a fridge of fame. In Mid fact, Mid Ohio Lawn Care. Who is it? Mid Ohio Lawn Care. Mid Ohio Lawn Care. LLC from Marion, Ohio. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, what are you doing? I thought you were pointing down to. No, no. Oh. We're getting ready to go in the hot tub. That's because my shoulder's killing me. But yep. let's back to the fridge of fame. Let's see. We have a couple cards. Who's it from? Mid Ohio. Mid Ohio Lawn, Lawn Care. Care LLC. There's one card. All right. Let's see the other. Is there anything on the back? No. Nope. And there's another card. Yes. So we're going to show both of Justin Andrick's cards here from Mid-Ohio Lawn Care, LLC. There's the other one. Okay, we have a note. And we have a note. Hey, thanks for sending your yes, cards for our fridge you. of fame, Justin. We're Justin, gonna read your awesome. note. We're gonna read your note. Uh, well, let's read the note. <laughs> okay, it says Acme Mowing and Lawn Care. Ben, hey, how about a shout out to KH? KH is here too. <laughs> All right, Just let's kidding. Go. Thanks for doing the lawn care videos that you do. I really enjoy watching them and gaining knowledge that you give. Hope you have a great 2019 season. Stay safe and God bless my friend. I've enclosed two business cards that I've used. Feel free to send uh, me anything you want. We will, Justin. We'll send you, uh, we'll send you an envelope. Um, it's gonna have our new sticker in it. You're gonna get one of these. Anybody that sends us anything for the Fridge of Fame gets our new sticker. It's one of these. Uh, you'll get a business card from me, our EDDM card, because we're real proud of them and we've got so many of them, we like to send them out. Uh, and and probably a, a letter from me. But anyway, uh, Justin, we're putting you up on the Fridge of Fame. Uh, uh, I think we I have think to the go top to the, is, yeah, yeah the we top gotta go is to the full. bottom. Yeah. So let's go, let's put him around such notable lawn care companies as Jim Bob's Lawn Care, uh, Get It Done With Gun, and Neighbor Services Lawn Care Little Guy. Haven't mentioned uh, Seven's Lawn Care, Seven Lawn Care, or Choice Lawn Care in quite some time, and we haven't mentioned Dave's Best Services up here. We haven't mentioned him or Wyatt for a while. Uh, guys, thank you for sending your stuff for, your fridge, for our Fridge of Fame. Uh, Justin from Mid-Ohio Lawn Care is up here. Maggie is super, super excited about it. Yeah. Uh, she just can't contain her excitement. We're going to put these right side by side. Uh, Karen's putting both your cards up there, Justin. Heck yes. So, so there you go. Justin, thank you so much for providing us stuff for our Fridge of Fame. We really appreciate it. Yes, we do. So now, with that being done. Yes. It's we, hot tub. It's hot tub time oh. for Karen's shoulder, and uh, I promised... Mike N. So, this week, we hope you make lots of money. Love each other. Definitely love each other. And, and peace. peace. Hey, guys. We'll see you Wednesday. Have a great week. Bye, y'all. Hey, Mike N. It's Ben from the Hot Tub. As requested, here's your shout out. We hope you have a great season this year, Mike. And uh, we wish you were down here with us in uh, warmer Oklahoma enjoying this hot tub with us. Next time you're in town, give us a ring. Bye-bye. Hey,